what other ways uh, are you helping with all these evolutions in well, how in, we're living life? If, you know, in uh, oil and gas right now, you know, we, the dissolved air flotation technology that we developed, we took a, a decision very early on in our life to manufacture a polypropylene, not unlike this material here. Now, we didn't foresee the markets that that was going to allow us to play in in the future. All it did was it gave us an identity that no one else had. We were unique. But again, we were going into very simple applications that steel dafts could work in, ours is polypropylene. Well, you know, fast forward 10, 15 years, and along comes a thing called fracking. Now, fracking is probably one of the nastiest environments of, for water. You know, they're using the water to go down, they're using it to do all the fracturing, you're gonna get the gas, you're gonna get the oil coming up, but what comes back up with it is huge levels of chlorides. And chlorides like to just eat metal. So here we are with a plastic daft, basically, and all the, the, the surfaces that are in contact with that water are plastic. So, you know, we're going into the Permian Basin in Texas with a DAF that is going to serve them for a long time to come. Whereas, you know, people that are working in steel have a problem. You know, they're, they're, they're trying to look at special coatings. If the coating gets, uh, you know, attacked, then the DAF is, you know, useless. So we cannot manufacture enough DAFs to meet the demand going into the Permian Basin in Texas right now. Oh, we do. Yeah. That's really interesting. And uh, well, I mean, one of the things in the oil and gas industry um, is how, um, you know, it seems to sort of like, unlike the water and wastewater industry uh, that we're talking with a lot of mm -hmm. folks here at WEFTEC about, uh, it kind of like, um, there's, there's far more of a pulse in the oil and gas industry. Mm. All of a sudden it's everybody and then it kind of like dies down and then right. you get another right. big rush. How does that, uh, do, do you see that in the, in, in the oil and gas industry and how you interact with that industry? We, we do. Uh, yeah, and and we, we can morph our offering to suit, you know, a, a lot of the services companies don't want to invest the capital. They just want uh, an asset they can rent. So we have a model where we can rent the equipment to them and they only need it for as long as they need it. What we're seeing in the Permian Basin though is that, you know, there is a huge amount of growth there right now and it's going to absolutely explode over the next five years. You know, the, the, there's a natural bottleneck in that they don't have enough pipelines to get the product out of that geographical region. Uh, but what's happening now with all the companies that have been in there doing all the early work, what we're finding now is that, you know, they've had all these venture capital groups pouring money in, but not seeing any revenues, you know, because things are still not getting built, still not getting delivered. And now we've got a situation where, you know, they need to treat water, they need to reuse it, they need to generate revenues to re give the faith that, yeah. that this future exists. And it's absolutely fantastic at the moment. Uh, so. There's companies that we'll, we will sell to, and there's other companies that we will just rent it to. And uh, it's a great business. It's a lovely business model. And, you know, 15 years ago, we, we didn't see that when we made the choice to move to polypropylene. Yeah. You know, we, we, we use it in desalination. Seawater. Never considered it. Yeah. You know, so it, it, it is fascinating. You know, call it luck. I like to think that the harder I work, the luckier I get. There the real man makes his own luck. Yeah. That's my yeah, belief. For sure. Neil, I, uh, we would love to have more time with you, but unfortunately we're running low. So yep. before we let you go, should anyone need to connect with you and learn more about all this great stuff coming out of World Water Works, where do they go? Uh, if they come in through our website, they can catch me. If they, I'll put my email or my telephone on there, they can call me directly. I'll return a call very, very quickly. and. Uh, Hope that we can take them on a, a long and lasting experience. I suspect you will. Neil McAdam, Senior Vice President of Sales with World Water Works. Neil, great pleasure to have you. Thanks again for stopping by. Thanks very much.